Hello, my name is Andy Tattersall. I'm an information specialist based at the School of Health and Related Research here at the University of Sheffield. This is a very short series of videos called App Hacks. The purpose of these videos is to show you how to get more out of your mobile devices. It's primarily aimed at uh, medical students and students in health related research, um, but some of these are quite generic. And this one here is one of those. This is one called Browsing, which allows you to explore your university library uh, journal collection via your mobile device. So I'm gonna drill down a little bit and show you a bit more of what this can do. So this is Browsing, which is subscribed to by the University of Sheffield, and it allows you to access the journals within the university, within your own kind of journal book stand uh, news, news reader. And once you've set it up with your credentials in the settings for the University of Sheffield, we can go in and actually have a look. Here's my own bookshelf, which is um, just currently updated. So I can go into the browsing library and I can go and filter by titles. So here's all the many, many titles that we hold at the university. Uh, it's probably better to go by subject. So we're going to subject and we'll look down and we shall choose um, biomedical and health sciences. So I click on that. I've then got a choice as to what I want, medical science, nursing, etc., nutrition, public health. So we'll click public health and that will bring up all the public health titles. So you have your own kind of book stand of, of just as you would be in the library. So we'll have a look into the um, evidence-based mental health journal there in the middle. Click on that and it will now load uh, the latest issue from 2016, volume 19, issue two. And I can actually go in and now have a look at a particular Article. So I'll look at this one on M Health. Just click on that. Give it a few seconds to download. It could sometimes take a little bit longer. It's just con it's just thinking about it. And there we go. And now that article has appeared. So I can read the article on my device. I can go to the top right hand corner and click that. <clears throat> I can save the PDF. Um, I can email the article. I can save it. Uh, within EndNote, Mendeley and Zotero and I can also um, share it socially via Twitter and Facebook. If I go back to the table of contents I can go in there and if I want to actually follow this journal I just click the add to my bookshelf and it will put it onto my uh, actual book, personal bookshelf which is the tab on the bottom left hand corner. I can also click on available issues and it will show me all the issues that I can access from the university because we don't always keep every issue back issue but I can go and have a look at a different one, volume nine, issue three and again that will load up the table of contents for that. So um, if I go back to my bookshelf you can see these are the ones that I've actually saved. I can also go into the saved articles option and in there I can save articles and go back to those and view them uh, as as and when I like. So again, it's a very, very good one to have in terms of getting hold of uh, the latest research from the library without actually having to go into the physical library.